Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Employee of the Month. Now, as previously stated at the end of the last episode, if whatever you're about to see is not long enough to be its own episode, I'm going to splice it in with the previous one right here. But otherwise, let's go ahead and walk to a shack, why don't we? We gotta see what's going on with this that cowfish, shack dude. Out of place here. Yeah, don't, you're telling me. Shack, sweet shack. Interesting. At the sweet shack, baby sweet shack. Something tells me he's able to, oh, what, uh, uh, hold, hold the phone here. Poke your head out again. I dare you, do it. I don't know what kind of creature that is, and I don't know where to begin to figure out what kind of creature that is, but I'm unsettled, to say the least. That was like a lynch... It's like a lynchian moment of just like, huh? Huh? Um, something tells me the reason he's able to stay here, even with everything being built up around him, is, uh... That looks like a makeshift oil drill. Yeah, uh, something tells me this man has a lot of oil in his backyard. Hi, Cowfish nice Craig. Place you got here. Yeah, much obliged, partner. My name's SpongeBob SquarePants. What's your name? Folks around here call me Cowfish Craig. I'll bet Not they that do. I give two hoots what folks around here do. Uh -huh. I mean, that's your name, isn't it? You're the one Sandy sent me to find. I should have known. May I call you Cowfish? I'm not too particular about names and such. A man is a man by virtue of his deeds, not his title. An urchin by any other name would still sting like crazy if he sat on it. He's, he's got a point there. And I love I love the idea of him being like, yeah, you can call me whatever. Like, he's immediately like, yeah, how you doing? Call me whatever, da, 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 versus the rich dude was like, don't inconvenience me. Also, obviously a Texas boy. Look at that. Ah! I was curious, Mr. Cowfish. I was curious, Mr. Cowfish. Why don't you live in a big old mansion like all these other people? You think a man's house says something about him? No, Let but I mean, you've clearly got some money. Spirit. A humble man is a happy man. Don't let yourself get caught up in all them our fancy hoopla's. Before you know it, hoopla. all your luxuries... Well, that sounds like a lot of hoopla. Necessity. What about a heated pool? That'd be nice, huh? Yeah, actually, a heated pool would rock. <laughs> I love it. I love it. everybody's got the one thing where they're like, yes, I know I have principles and things, and I know that you don't all some things are necessities and some things are wants, but that one want, there's always that one where they're like, yeah, but that'd be pretty sick though. Yeah. Um, he says you I spoke with your neighbor. I spoke with your neighbor. He says you took one of his golden coconuts. I'm sure well, he's telling the truth. Figures. I didn't take nothing. He's got that darn palm tree hanging over my fence, dropping those silly, shiny coconuts in my yard. I just picked one up to prove a point is all. He's always getting his shorts I mean, in a bunch about something. I think well, there have um, been actual legal cases with stuff like that really with like regards to who, who does that belong to, Besides, who owns I'm it, all that really sort of stuff. Use. What are you using it for? A paperweight. It's real heavy. What I believe I it's find real you heavy. A new paperweight. Yeah. Ah, horse feathers. All right, fine. If you can find something you can replace it with, be my guest. It's just down the hall. Thank you, Mr. Cowfish, sir. Why are you yelling at him, SpongeBob? You're in his house. Hey, do you hey, have a jacket you I have could borrow? Where Maybe. I find a jacket? Perhaps. I need one to get into Oxygen Springs. Now, what would you want to go there for? Nothing there but guppies with their cellular telephone. Oh, guppies instead of yuppies. That's and their that's very clever. I'll give you that one. That's a really a good, favor. really good Don't little well, switcheroonie, I, really I suppose. It's the only place I can get oxygen to refuel my friend's rocket. Oh, well, in that case, I wish you luck. I'll lend you one of my jackets, but uh, I don't own any. Sometimes yeah, I'm going to say. Sublime Seafoods, and they'll lend me a jacket because they got a dress code, too. Oh, wait, that won't work. They always take it back when you're done eating. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they'll let me use one for a while if I ask nicely. Could yeah, be, you never want No. Could be. But I doubt it. Well, I've got to go. Talk yeah, I was going to say, also, Get don't on, mean to cause any doggy. offense, Cowfish. I kind of doubted that you would have a jacket for me to borrow. Ah. Uh, uh, what's going on here, SpongeBob? Okay. A <laughs> bill? Oh, my lord. Well... I've got nothing to replace it with, so I guess we might as well leave. Uh, yeah, just walk around. Uh, hey, Cowfish, uh, 
You realize there is a giant hole in your floor back there, right? I, I hope you do at I least. I think he's watching the good, the bad, and the orca. I think... Okay, I thought maybe he was gonna say a bunch of different TV show names. Um... So... Hmm... There's no real other place I could go to. I can't get in there. And if I just go back, it's... Yeah, okay. There's nothing... I can't grab a rock or anything out here. Yeah, Sandy's just working on the rocket. I need a coin to call at the phone booth. Hmm... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I wonder. hey -o! I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Was not expecting the monkey squealing noise as, like, what would... The sound effect that would take place after I picked up a coconut. But you know what? Whatever. I mean, I guess it tracks with, like, the jungle atmosphere, but it doesn't necessarily mean I was expecting it, regardless. Just like I wasn't expecting this guy. Come on, pop out. Damn it, I thought he would pop out. Alright, walk to pedestal. Swap the coconut. Do like an Indiana Jones type thing. Or not. Look at picture. Those must be relatives of cowfish craze. Yeah, I bet they are. Yeah, him and him. Oh boy. Those are quite the characters, I gotta say. Hello again. Howdy, partner. Ah. Um, yeah, I already asked well. you. Get along, little. All right. See you, Cowfish Craig. It was nice talking to you. Wish we could talk for longer, but you know how things work. Yada, yada, yada. Gotta return the things you stole. Get jackets to pretend to be rich. All that good stuff. Hey, dude, look what I got for you. I got your golden coconut bag. Speaking of, I've got your golden coconut. golden coconut. My precious, my What's going on with your eye there, dude? Thank you so Do we maybe much, want to get that examined? Square thing. Cause Let me give you your reward. Y you definitely look Here like you're you looking are. in two different directions. Even without one of them I'm being half closed. Well, I don't carry much cash on me. Sorry. Gee, thanks. You want to maybe give me half the golden coconut? Sheesh. Since, uh, you know, I helped you out and all that. I got you your stuff back, but uh, never mind, I suppose. All right, even with even if we get the jacket, though, we still have to figure out how to leave with the jacket, which I'm sure we'll figure out eventually. Five, 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 four, 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 four. I'm sure somebody came up with a naughty thing for him to say by typing a bunch of buttons in in quick succession. Those things tend to happen with stuff like this. How may I help you? I need directions. Where are you guys? We are located at the top of a quaint hill that rises from the Kelp Forest. The view is breathtaking, I assure you, madame. I'm not a madam. Oh, I like... <laughs> I apologize. I like that he didn't say I'm not a girl, he just said I'm not a madam. Me. Try again. Oh my goodness, a thousand apologies. Sir? You got it. Well, sir, I love it. We are very easy to find. We are located just south of Waverly Hills. South Great. of Waverly Hills. Thanks. Got Thank it. You, sir. All right. Now we got a new spot to go to, and we can go hopefully get a jacket. Uh, oh, hi, dude. What's what's your deal? Excuse me, I'm just passing through. That's what you think. Nobody gets up these stairs without an invitation. Oh, invitation? great. An invitation. What? Sublime Seafoods is having a party this evening to celebrate the unveiling of their new slogan. Sorry, it's by invitation only. Oh, really? What's the new slogan? I don't know. Something real catchy, I expect. He almost <laughs> sounds like Alex catchy. Hirsch doing his, like, Seafood. um, yeah. Grunkle Stan voice. <laughs> just, just barely. No. Move along. Look, I really need to get in there. What it's was extremely that? important. Well, you what the hell was that noise? Shove off. Don't make me come out there. Just sounded like something was scratching or running by. Enough. Please, please, Mr. Bouncer. I'll be Sponge your up, he's obviously not going to let you okay, through. Okay, that does it. I'm coming out. Get ready to say hello to my little friend. Let me guess, he's really tiny. Uh oh. Yep. 
Now, why are you making such a commotion? I think there might You're be some the bouncer. some like visual glitches with already. a couple uh, of these sure, character models based on this new upscaler I'm using. Model? The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Oh, all right, all dude. Right. Jeez. I'll get moving. Bye. Also, it looks like his character model might have a little bit less effort put into it uh, than the rest of them. The mezzanine. Fine oh, job the hi, Wait. dude. You're a fish with <laughs> chest hair. That's interesting. Hi, Timmy. Hi. Not much business today, huh? Nah, but it should pick up later. Sublime Seafoods is having a party tonight, and they gave me an invitation to give out to one lucky winner. Oh, can I one have lucky it? Winner. Well, I can't just give it to you. I was instructed to hold a little trivia contest and give the invitation. Also, to the I love that this dude just has a bunch of stuff of just like, here's a pit of golden money. Uh, uh yeah, what do I have to do for the contest, please? Like I would like fun. that invitation. What do I have to do? You have to tell me what Sublime Seafood's new slogan is. By the way, I like your shoes. How am I gonna find out the slogan? Well, Why did he say the thing about the shoes? Figure out. What was the point of that? He just said, oh, by the way. Yep, that was go. like the, the they left that, that in way. at the end of the tank. <laughs> or or take. All right, other sign. That's the kelp forest. I can barely see a restaurant in the distance. Oh, wait. Can I look through the binoculars? I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? What, what do you mean? Why can't I look? I don't think... All right. N well, no, hold on. That kelp, forest, that kelp forest looks like it would be really easy to get lost in. Okay. I don't... Well, why not? Clearly, I'm supposed to look through the binoculars and then see something... What a pretty... And, I like, see the... the um slogan on the other side so like what i'm confused here nothing else to interact with oh wait hold on what if i can i call from this again that looks like a phone booth okay i guess not my am, am I is this game really gonna give me difficulties? Is this really gonna be where I like am stumped? Uh, Let the bed. Okay, I it's the same stuff from before. Is this really where I'm gonna get stumped with this game? Maybe what's his face has uh uh or knows the slogan. I would doubt either of them do, but maybe. You never know. Let's ask what's his face. And then if he doesn't, maybe I'll just wander around until I find someone who does. Thanks for the Watch where you... Okay, well, that ain't it. All right, it's got to be something over here. Hi again. The bottom line, I'll get... Well... Okay, I said the same thing. Hi! Oh, I can... Uh... uh you have to tell me... How am I... Well... Where, where exactly, exactly is it? Oh, it okay. Anyway? It's in a sunken ship rising out of the kelp forest right behind us. It's quite breathtaking. Okay. You can see it from those binoculars that look out point. Uh, it's one of those annoying, like, point-and-click adventure game things. It's like, oh, we know you know what to do next, but you have to click the right thing so the like game knows that you know what to do next. But I like you just the same. Great. Well, I gotta go. The bathroom's that away. <laughs> That's my little joke. Just slightly annoying when stuff... Like, I'll be honest, I... I don't really expect any different from a game like this. It's where if I was playing like a Telltale game or something way more professionally or professional, then I would be slightly disappointed if, if it got trapped in a loop like that. Sublime seafood tastes like chicken. Nice slogan. Yeah, that's a good slogan, all right, for your seafood restaurant. Tastes like <laughs> chicken. Hey, dude. Hey, Timmy. Hey, T-Man. Yeah, okay. shout it to the heavens, why don't you, SpongeBob? Sublime seafoods taste like chicken. You win. Here is your invitation. Use it in good health. Great. Thank thanks. you, sir. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. I truly, truly do. What's going on, dude? Guess what I got? Boom. Good evening, my invitation. dear sir. Here's my invitation for the night's festivities. Excellent! This is all in order! Enjoy yourself! Thank you, good sir. For once. Being a decent dude for once. 
bring it around town. All right, I guess I can't can't go either way. I can up on that like second little balcony thing. I can only go straight. So let's walk up the path to Sublime Seafoods, why don't we? Boy, we're really going to make him walk all of this, huh? Interesting. All right. Um, hello, Shapiro, the ma maitre d'. Hi. This sure is a pretty restaurant. Hey, yes, it is. It is oh, a high I have the French voice. Can you tell? <laughs> comes out there in the world, you look a little out of your element. Well, I'm really only here to ask if I can borrow a jacket. Well, I'm really only here to ask if yeah, I can borrow a jacket. Yeah, just go ahead and say that up front, hey, why don't you? You most certainly cannot. Our suits are reserved for patrons who, for some reason or another, have forgotten to bring their own jackets. We cannot go around willy-nilly giving out jackets to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who comes in That's here. another I'm reference that... SpongeBob. I know that's yes. just like a common colloquialism. Is. I'm sorry, uh, but, like, Spongebob... Putting that in a kid's game, I'm like, why would... That's not... They're not going to get that. You, you can just say other things to mean the same thing. SpongeBob, SquarePants, Table for One, the please. The kids are going to find I a little bit invitation. more understandable. Uh, Mr. SquarePants, I see you did not bring a jacket. Please you are get one from Lisa, our co-check girl. Copy uh, that. Okay. I got to go. Catch you later. Adieu. Adieu. Hi, Lisa. Can I have a jacket? Hi. I'm supposed to get a jacket from you. Okay, here you go. Please don't forget to return Everyone it when you are done Everyone here has the eating. weirdest fancy gotcha. accent. Thanks. I got a fancy jacket on now? Wow. Yeah, I do. Nice thread. Can I just leave? They took the coat back okay. when I left the rest. All right, that's fine. Uh, I would like a coat, Hi. please. Okay. Got... I should have known it wouldn't wow. be that easy. All right, can I please have a table okay, now? Okay, I got me a jacket. Excellent. We have Excellent. a table for you all the way in the back up the stairs. Please yes, we're definitely not trying to get rid of you. That's me. definitely not yeah. why we gave you a table why all the way in the back, Thank all you. the way up at the top of the stairs, etc. All right. What's Quite on the a menu? Selection. How am I ever going to decide uh, what I want? Crawfish and other stuff I can't read. This that dude looks... Table has someone at it already. I should find an empty one. All of these people look very familiar. Hi, waiter. I don't want to do that. Okay. Guess we'll just go up to the table then. We'll let the waiter come and find us. Good afternoon, sir. I'm definitely not well, the Larry the Lobster model with a tuxedo like t-shirt pasted on my front. Or are you ready to order? Um, can you tell me about the specials? Could you tell me about the specials? SpongeBob, you course, look like a kid sitting a in that. We have salad with basil vinaigrette dressing. The kelp is grown in our very own simulated organic forest. And the vinaigrette is aged 400 years in oak barrels from the Titanic. So is that is very mild, very sweet. Is that implying that when SpongeBob takes place it's been 400 years since the Titanic crash or is that implying that they got barrels from the well no 400 years would have had to pass since the Titanic crash regardless because then otherwise how can you age something 400 years in barrels that were in the Titanic? That's wild that that's just here. Are there any other specials? Are there any other specials? We also have the sand cake tartar. The sand cakes are firmly backed by Finn. Oh, by Finn instead of by hand. Very funny game. Aha, 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 aha. That comes with a delicate sea grape leaf tea, which is spiced and sharp. Quite delectable. Delectable. I'm ready to order. Order. What can I get you? Can I just get I'll a Krabby Patty? Pa yep, I was gonna what? say. Krabby Patty? Well, I never get out. You must be from Bikini Bottom or some equally despicable place. I mean, most most people around here, I feel like, are from Bikini Bottom, so how In rude fact, of you? I shall how rude of you? you myself. Uh -oh, are they just gonna kick me out and but keep... 
but kick me out while I still have the jacket on. Yeah. In deep water again. Are you just going to throw me at the front door, or, or what? Maybe some good will come of this after all. I love the whole place is now suddenly empty. All right, let me quickly get out of here before they forget and take the jacket from me. Before they remember and take the jacket from me. Ah, yes, I see. And you have a jacket as well. Excellent. Please proceed inside and have a relaxing oxygen bath. Thank you. Thanks. Proceed inside. I am in a camera. I think, oh, is, I think that's why, oh, that's why he has a Terminator voice, because he's a camera, he's just talking camera. I see. Hi, Patrick. What you doing, buddy? What you Patrick, doing? Patrick, what are you doing here? I'm relaxing. Oxygen bath is sweet. How did they, yeah, how did you get in here? But how did you get in here? I've been running around trying to find a jacket just so they'd let me in. Where's your jacket? Jacket? Nobody said anything to did me you climb about in? jacket. But the camera at the gate, didn't it say anything to you about a dress did code? you just climb over I the wall? I didn't come through a gate. Oh I just my climbed God. over some coral. I really needed to use the bathroom. I mean, oh, when you gotta go, you gotta well, go, I suppose. Out. I gotta get oxygen from this geyser. I can't get out. I'm not wearing any pants. Well, how'd you get in here then? Well, I don't remember. Yeah, that tracks. Well, where are your pants? Well, As if where I don't are know. Your pants? They're in the bathroom, I think. Can you get them for me? All right, sure. fine. I gotta go, Patrick. Okay, bye, SpongeBob. It's fitting that this game ends up, like, at the end of the day, what's one of the last puzzles we have to solve for Patrick before we... This guy. What's one of the last puzzles we have to solve? Why, it's getting Patrick's pants. Hey! Another cassette tape. Like some sort of videotape. No way, you don't say. I mean, I think we've been... Whoops. Uh, view movies. I think we've been everywhere in here thus far. So what, I, I think it would be safe to watch without getting any spoilers. What's what's in this videotape? Oxygen spring exterior. Pencil rubs. Oh, they did change some of the... Yeah, they changed some of the design by the end of it. Made it a little bit more compli complicated, a little bit more complex, a little fancier. Had before scene six cockpit. Oh, this is when they took off. Okay. Yeah, why does his, the eyes and everything look so weird? They all look so, so weird. Oh, I gotta be honest. I kind of like that first exterior, or first interior a little bit more than the final one. It seems a little bit less just, like, stuffy. This one seems, like, so packed. It's almost crazy. All right. Let's get... Let's continue on with the game, and by that I mean questioning this hey, dude. It's you. Uh, hello, sir. May I get you a towel? No, but you can tell me what you're doing here. Are you sure you do not need a towel? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, yes. I I do not need a towel. Okay. Just answer this question. Everyone should have a towel. I'm a sponge. I practically am a towel. Don't hey, forget to bring a towel. I'm just trying to help us all. Look, the jig is up. Exactly. Yeah, call him out. Where? Yell at him. Story, Berate Buster. him, Sponge. Me? You've been seeing me everywhere? Like where? Well, I swear, first if, I saw you at the if like one of his, if like somebody who looks exactly daddy. like him walks out and from behind the lockers the and like, stop. see you, Jim. You All right, see you, Tim, et cetera, et cetera. I saw you at Sardines. I'm going to lose my mind. That? I think you've gone quite mad. Yep. How did I know? Hi, Leonard. Hi, Petro. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Petro. How did I know? Wait a second. Who was that? that hey, let me guess. Your twin. Yeah, Leonard yeah, Trump. yeah. Okay. Hi, Ryan. Bye, Ooh. Leonard. Bye, Ryan. Leonard, Ryan, and Petro. And who's the fourth one gonna be? And I wonder. That's... that's another twin brother, Ryan. How many twin brothers do you have? Including Petro and Ryan? Yes. Four thousand one hundred and thirty-two. More or less. Well, I mean, they are sardines, I believe. What? Never mind. All right. Can I interact with any of this? Everywhere I turn, more and more lockers. Okay, I guess not. Grab Patrick's pants quickly. Yeah. Let's get out of here. That way I never have to look at Leonard again. All right. Patrick. 
Guess what I got for you, buddy? Got yeah. some pants for you. Okay, Patrick, here are your pants. Whoa, whoopee! Thanks, SpongeBob. Uh, could you turn around for a moment? I don't want you to see me naked. Okay, here I go. And the game closes its eyes, too. How very nice and kind. Okay, thanks, SpongeBob. You didn't peek, did you? No, not at all. Of course not. No, I just gotta fill these oxygen tanks and we can get going. Whoopee! Now, I do find it very funny that, um, <sighs> Nothing like the there's six slots here. At no point in this game oh, have we what? ever had enough items filled. to fill up all six Time slots. Get out of here. Which I, I just find that extremely funny. That, like, why would you give me that many? At no point have I ever required that many. All right, Sandy. We got the oxygen tanks filled. Woohoo! Yeah, and I will clean now, too. Great. Let's get out of here before All cleaned late. out, you say, Patrick? Didn't need to hear that. Really Excellent. did not need to hear that. Huh. Yippee! <clears throat> That's not how we got in before, but I suppose that works. Yeah, do all the same stuff we did before, safety belts, all that. Anyone wanna dance? No, Patrick. We're just going back the way we came! Drink feast, live like a god. We finally made it! Ha 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 over and over. Yeah! I can hardly wait! We're gonna be the first in line! Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's very crowded. Is it closed? Sorry guys. Parks closed. What? Huh? But we have special tickets to get into the park, see? Yeah! See? That's Those tickets that's are for boot. next week. See? I like that it says next week stamped on it as if you couldn't bring that back next week and the dude be like, that ticket says it's for next week. This week we're having a private oh! party for somebody named... The, his mouth here. for a second. Ugh. Horrifying Spring animation. Squire pin. Psst, that's SpongeBob SquarePants. Now, Sandy, what do you know about this? SpongeBob SquarePants. That's me. Ooh. Now, why? Now, some of these people being here makes sense. But why is the Major D here? Why is the like rich co golden coconut dude here? This looks like the most chaotic roller coaster I've ever seen. It looks like it's gonna fall apart at a moment's notice. Oh, <laughs> Patrick! What the hell is getting? <laughs> the look from Patrick. <laughs> that was such a. Oh, we just hit, that was a glitch. Why are you on there, Patrick? <laughs> Once again, why is everybody? <laughs> oh, my lord. And that's it. <laughs> We're done. Oh, my lord. All right. I mean, I don't know. What do you want me to say? It was music by Yummy Noise. That feels like just a modder that they got, but that's not possible for something like this because this was like early, early 2000s. So like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was. It's fine. It's just. It's just a silly little like point and click adventure game. It's aimed at kids. I mean, what's what's there not to like? It's just silly and fun. And I don't know. That's about all you really need for something like this. What what else you want me to say? There's nothing else really to say. It's not too complicated. It's not too simple. Um, it's it's just it's just enough. Um, pu it's just puzzly enough for like a kid who is like five or six and who loves Spongebob to play it and be like, I'm helping Spongebob on an adventure. Um, especially if they are not yet old enough to handle like the comp more complex like 3D platformers. It's perfect in that respect. 
um, which is exactly why I played it back in the day. Plus, I think it was super cheap. I think we found it somewhere at, like, a Goodwill or something for, like, a dollar. I don't even know. So, on that note, thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful. Thank you guys for for just hanging with me in this. It's, it's Look, it's from my childhood. It's fun. It's silly. And I knew that given how much SpongeBob was a part of my childhood, when I did Nostalgia Month, if I didn't do some SpongeBob game, like, what am I doing? What am I doing here if I don't? And this has been SpongeBob SquarePants Employee of the Month. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.